Good morning, Pisces. What's up on this Friday morning? Pisces, please wear that mask. Now they talk about if you pump your own gas. We don't do that in New Jersey. But if you pump your own gas, they telling you to please wear some gloves. Because that shit is all over the place. And I told y'all this would happen. I told y'all all this shit was going to spread. But uh, people, you know, want to get smart with me. Please look out for yourself. Please, Lord, and for others. Please. Thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe, and donate to my channel and get private readings. And go on to my webpage and order my jewelry. Okay, they was asking me to make these men jewelry. I started making them um, for the Pisces men. So here goes your jewelry. All right. I, I made them with the big wrist because I'm sure the men got big wrists. Maybe they, they don't have big wrists. Women and men can use these. But these are the men um, bracelets that I made. And... Um, what I will do is I will put these up because um, it is what it is. These are the Pisces bracelet. I ordered these these little things to be um, silver because I love silver. They send them to me in bronze. I don't know why, but I made them the way I made them. These are the, um, the Tree of Life bracelets. Okay. Um, you know that I have the ankle bracelets. Uh, you know I have these charm bracelets that I made for myself. Um, actually, uh, I wear one Miss Renee gave me. Um, these are, um, these are the bracelets. This one has the sun and moon or with Pisces, things that we do, things who we are. Okay, I also got this bracelet, which a lot of people like, the one with the heart. And I, uh, I worked on all these bracelets and this jewelry because when I went to Cancun, they were, um, I had sold out. Um, I am waiting on the one young lady's order on my uh, store, and as soon as I get that, um, I will mail you that and some out to you. So, I didn't get you. I'm just waiting on them to send me the material. These are my ankle bracelets. Yes, they are. Um, also, I have these here. I have Art Michael, all kinds of necklace. This one here, you can put on your stone, your chakra stone, or you can put a splash of your perfume. And then I'll last all day, which I thought was really cute. Okay, and then I got these to the chakra stones in them. And they're chakra stones. They're not perfume, nothing. They're all chakras. I have Archangel um, um, necklace. I have um, uh, all, kind, all kinds of um, bracelets. Okay, I like this one because it's real dainty. So, I like stuff like that. Um, for the men, I got uh, this here, the women. That, that is the evil eye bracelet. I have um, the uh, wealth and happiness, which is this one, which is the one I have on my ankle. Okay. Um, these are all different charm bracelets I have. So, if y'all like to wear um, jewelry, okay, anything that got to do with Pisces, that's what I do. So, this is how it goes, these different ones, okay, which if you're going to wear one, you need to at least wear more than one so it look really, really, really cute. All right, so, um, I think I'm just, I got it in red, okay. I think I'm going to um, have a day, a one whole day where I can do the bracelet. I'll just show you the jewelry. This is right here. See, I got the man and the women's virgin. And I order all of these to make them. So, what I am waiting on is this string. 
so that I can make the young ladies that um, ordered it. Here it goes again. Okay. So I like making my own jewelry. I really do. I love it, love it, love it. And um, so that's the way I do stuff. So, okay, Pisces, let's get down with the reading here. Um, let's see here. What I will be doing is I'm going to separate all this stuff this way when I go to put the orders in, I can find what I'm doing. Alright, so let's get down with this reading. Um, I hope everybody got whatever they want, whatever they asking for. I hope you got it. Today I'm going to the beach this morning, so I will be going live once I get to the beach. Alright, I'm hoping I can do this uh, live thing. I try to go into it and see how it works. I don't know why it don't let me see your comments. I got super chat on there. I'm at the level that I can have all of that going on because I have met all the qualification that YouTube give you to use all of that. You got to have a certain amount of um, people, a certain amount of um, time and you have to reach a certain amount of level to be able to use that. Um, so I know I reached it. So now I got to learn how to use it because I I have, um, every time I go to use it, I have a problem using it. I don't understand why. So let's get down and then people say they don't hear me. I don't know what to do, but I'm going to get it all together one thing at a time. You know, uh, I'm not really um, into this computer thing and all the things, but uh I'm going to try to do that and work with it because I do want to um, be able to to deal with y'all and y'all be able to know what I'm talking about, okay? So it's important that I learn how to work that, that whole thing there. Um, all right now, so let's get started with this reading. And like I said, this, today I will be um, going into... Um, going to the beach and I will be going live at the beach so y'all will be able to see me on the beach and I think I left all my bathing suit in Cancun I don't know what I did but I know I don't have them here so I don't know what I'm gonna do okay I don't know what to do about that all right Pisces let's get started with the reading okay I'm trying to get this necklace put back together um, I'm very dainty when it comes to necklace. Um, if I go to something where they're doing a spiritual thing going on, I wear these. Yes, I would. But I, I wear what I wear all the time. Um, someone did ask me that they wanted to order this bracelet and the cards and all that. Um, the young lady, uh, text me. So if you could text me back, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on, but if you could text me back, I will be able to send you the bracelet and the necklace. The only thing I will not be able to send you is, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Destiny's cards because they're hers. I don't make them. I don't have them. I only have what she sent me, which is the one I use. I've been in touch with her to tell her that y'all want her cards, so um, I, that's out of my control. When it comes to Dr. Terry, also out of my control. I don't know what, you know, they got to get all their stuff ready for you. I don't know anything about it, so when I get the information, then I can give it to you, okay? In the meantime, I know what I'm, what I'm in control of, of my own store. This is my sage, okay, and I make my own sage. Yes, I do, all right? So here we go. And it is one. All right, let's go with this. So let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. I shuffle these cards all the time. I don't understand why the cards keep up with the same, uh, 
coming out. I don't get it. All right, here we go, Pisces. All right, so now you know it's always past, present, and the future. That's the way it goes in any card deck in the world. Anybody that reads your card deck is past, present, and future. Do you understand? Okay. The first card that came up is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Which is uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Tell me what I need to know, spirits. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Somebody is lit, finally seeing everything for what it is. The second card you have is the lover, Gemini, still in the sword family. The third card you got is the nine of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Showing up. All right. Um, the eight of swords. All right. Um, maybe you feel like you trapped, but I see here that you're taking your blind pros off. And um, seeing things for what it is, so you feel a lack of confidence, confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, taking responsibility for your life now, and that's what you need to do. You should not, um, in the past, you maybe let allow, you know, other people to, um, or your thoughts or whatever. You know, control the situation because it's all in your head. And when you get in your head, it's, you know, and I'm talking about because I'm a Pisces like, like you. But when you get in your head, it's bad because we allow everything to take control of us. Okay, but if you can see yourself for who you really are and have confidence in yourself, then you can get out of the situation you're in because what it is, it's all in your head. The thoughts that you put in your head, that's what fucks with you, is the thoughts. And you can put any thought. It can be about a job. It can be about a person. It can be about family, a lover. Whatever it is, it'll fuck with you. And it'll stay there until you let it go. And it can be in there for a long time. And that's why we, I'm always saying, well, I don't know why I'm thinking of this. And I don't know why I'm thinking of that. And I don't see this person and I don't talk to that person. It's because it's all in your fucking thoughts. You know, it's some real shit because we can break up with people, but it's not over until we say it's over. And some people be were over for a long damn time. I mean, a long time. Some people can't get over people. And this some real shit. Some real shit. Okay? Like, damn. I'm like, what the fuck? Shit is crazy. Shit, is, shit can get real crazy with a Pisces. All right? So you allow your thoughts to control you. And if you continue to let your thoughts control you, it will always control you. Do you understand? Another thing I'm going to say to y'all. Um, if somebody passed away in your life, Okay, and you can't get over that person that passed away. Get the fuck over and live your fucking life. Okay, you get over it and live your life. God gave you one life to live. They not here for a fucking reason. And I don't give a damn how they passed away. Let them rest in peace and live your life. All right, um, I'm going to say it again. People become celebrities. When they fucking pass away. Alright. And that's some real shit. Let people live. Let their, their soul be rest in peace. I go visit my mother. And I go do that. But damn. Shit I ain't. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. No I ain't doing all that. No I want her to rest in peace. I want her to be okay. See you later alligator. Alright. And I ain't telling you. I don't sit my mother in a in a paddle stool because I already told you it was fucked up when, when shit was alive. Okay? And I don't give a fuck. It is what it is. 
Shit, damn, let people, let, let people go. Leave the dead alone. If my mother come to me, she come to me, but damn, she ain't gonna run my motherfucking life, and she ain't gonna have me going crazy. Especially when I can't even see her. Hell to the no. Go tell God to whatever it is that you need to know or want to see, tell God to reveal it to you, not nobody else. And I ain't Jesus. I'm just a tarot card reader, okay? All right, moving on. Because some people go crazy over that shit. I am free to choose my healing and my light. And that's what I'm talking about. You are free to choose your healing and the light. Nobody can do that for you. So if you stand in your thoughts, that's what you get. Okay? Fuck the past memories. Can't move from situations. Don't want to move from situations. Mad at whoever, whatever. Baby, baby, baby. Move the fuck on. Feeling stuck. A time to open your eyes and reveal the truth. And whatever it is that you feel stuck about, you will see it. Right? Uh, people think they can get away with doing shit. Ain't nothing that you, nobody can get away with. Sooner or later, it'll come the fuck out. Now, whether it matters or it don't, who knows at the time? All right? Maybe if you know about it now, it'll matter. But if you know about it later on and you don't give a fuck about it no more, it don't matter. All right? Open your eyes so uh, you can see everything for what it is. Have more op options than you thought. Um, an opportunity to let go of an old story, of an old story is whatever took place back then. Of an old story is the past. I mean, open up your eyes. You got plenty more opportunities. That is not the end of the fucking, of your life. It's the end of that motherfucking story. Not your damn life. Start new beginnings. Don't let that one fucking drag you. Don't let that one keep you still or not moving. Especially when it comes to a Gemini Libra Aquarius. The motherfuckers do what they, they motherfuckers is going with the wind. Okay, remember their air signs. Remember how they move. Remember how they are. Okay? It's, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes um, we talk about the past and we can't move from it, okay? But it's a lesson that had to be learned, all right? It's a lesson that has to be learned. Um, when you have the past in your head, then you start making that shit reality. You need to look beyond the veil, okay, um, and stop limiting yourself to whatever it is in your head. You need to move on and build new shit or go into a whole new story. Okay, you can't feel trapped up in an old past. And can't move forward. Remember that. That too is just a part of life. Okay. You can get that shit and move on. When you choose. Um, for somebody. Or your past. To fucking destroy you. Um, and you can't come. Uh, come Get over that. Uh, bit, uh, feeling. Um, that you the victim. Of what took place. Okay, you're just choosing to be there and not move on. But you can free yourself, okay, by shifting yourself, okay, and stop accepting shit for what it was with that person and take responsibility for your happiness. You need to move on, girl, or a uh, Pisces, I'm talking about man or woman, okay? Uh, create a situation that's going to be positive for you. All right, and stop being stuck in all the bullshit. Well, sometimes this means also that you're going through a transformation, but you may feel hopeless. All right. 
When you can't control every experience that is put on your past, you can uh, feel like um, shit ain't going your way. Let go of an old story and be uh, willing to um, let go of that old story so you don't have that low vibration, okay? All in your thoughts, holding on to that shit. Uh, go ahead and refix anything and everything that needs to be fixed. And refix that shit within you. Not, not the situation, but within yourself. Because, see, sometimes the situation never shows up. So if, if the situation that, that makes you feel the way you do never shows the fuck up, right? So you never see this person again in your life. Or maybe this, whatever took place, uh, the, maybe that person passed away, whatever it is, right? That person never shows up again or y'all never get back together or the person died or you moved so far. You, whatever it is, the situation is, right? You need... To choose yourself over the situations and learn from it and move on. It was a lesson that you had to learn. And if you don't learn from that lesson and you never see that person again or that person passed away or that person um, uh, is your kid's father, whoever it is, and you can't see past that shit, they will always have you stuck. It will always control your mind, okay? And you will always go through the same fucking shit with someone else. And it ain't even fucking worth it. Do you fucking understand? All right? Now, this looking and revealing what you need to reveal about a situation is telling me that it's got the lovers of Gemini. So, whatever it is that you need to see... Or whatever else that you need to do, you need to open up your eyes about this situation. Because once you open up your eyes, you're going to see that person for who they really fucking are. For who they really are. Because it shows the aid of source in your thoughts you can't get over a past relationship or a situation you was in. Or all the hurt and abuse you went through with this person. But you need to know that, you know, good things await you. But you need to know where you stand with yourself. Because you remember you married to yourself. You're the one that's going to die with yourself. You ain't taking none of these motherfuckers with you. Okay? Embrace true love and deep intimate friendship. Make a choice from your heart. Vibration or, uh, or this person or whoever might be recovering from an illness. Maybe this person is sick that you used to see. Maybe this person is in their feelings about... You in a situation that happened. I don't fucking know. Because like I said. I don't even be bothered with this person. That I was with. I don't know anything. I hope they okay. I hope that they not sick. And I don't know about it. I would be very upset if I knew they were sick. And I don't know. Because I don't wish this person nothing bad. You know. Um, I've known this person all my life. So I hope and pray to God that they okay. Um, but, um, you know, I see things for what it is. And that's the way it is. And whatever God has for me, he has for me. Okay? And that I know. I'm not going to sit here and tell you, I don't know if this person changed. I have no clue because I haven't talked to that person. But I know one thing, if that person don't understand that, um, you know, a story works two ways and love is two ways and we need to find love and be in the middle of love. Nobody has to kill themselves to show you they love you. And whatever it is that you need to see about whatever situation it is about a person, ask God to reveal it to you and God will do just that. Okay? It will be revealed. I don't give a fuck. And sometimes God will continue to reveal a person to you so that you will know um, whether that person was good or not for you. It will, If you're thinking that much about a person or you want to go back to a person, ask God to continue to reveal things about that person, and he will. 
All right? So you know that you should not go back to that person. All right? Because it's a lot of secrets and people be like, well, I wasn't with you. Well, I don't give a fuck. A matter of fact, I don't even want to talk about that shit because it don't matter to me. You know, understand? Like I tell y'all all the time, take what's yours and leave the rest behind. But somebody here needs to reveal everything, whatever it is, for what it is. And take the blindfolds and know that the only person that is stuck in the situation is you. You can free yourself from this shit. You can do it. All right? You got um, source right here and right here. You got Gemini Libra Aquarius. You got Gemini here. You know, these people got all these kinds of split personalities. They come in and out. They some bunch of weirdos. And I say weirdos because we are water sign and we can't even see past these people. But if you you attract them like I do, then I'm telling you what I know. Okay? Now, um, embrace the future of your labor. So maybe you need to see this person for what they are. But in the meantime, in between time, honey, you need to work on whatever it is you need to work on. Okay, on projects, on what makes you happy, your business, jobs, whatever it is is making your money. Work on that shit, just like you can work on a relationship that ain't worth shit. Okay, it says enjoy the fruit of your labor. Hard work that has left that has left you to a luxury life. Buying yourself something special, a happy and successful self-employed. Enjoy solitude. Enjoy being alone. What it's saying, whatever you're going through with a person or whatever it was in the past, whatever it is. And I'm going to say something to you. You can talk to a person for two days or a month or 30 days, 60 days, however long it is. And that person becomes your past. It don't have to be somebody you've known all your life. It can be whatever you cut the fuck off becomes the past. All right? And let me tell you, when you jump into the future and you jump into your success and you work hard for what you want, okay, and you stay to yourself, that's when you grind and then you know what you want, all right? Be your own boss. Be your leader. Don't be a follower. Be a leader, all right? Don't let nobody keep you stuck in whatever they want to keep you stuck, having you all fucked up in your head. Don't do that because it ain't even worth it. It ain't, and especially if you don't see somebody, you stuck in, um, like, I don't see this person, but I ain't gonna be stuck on them. What the fuck? I know who they fucking, who they ain't fucking. I'm not in the bed with the motherfucker. He ain't fucking me. Shit. He ain't fucking me. Then shit. And what the fuck I gotta worry about? Who the fuck he fucking? It ain't none of my damn business. All right? Like I said, he ain't fucking me. And at the bottom of your deck, you got the Aquarius and you got the Pisces. So, I'm going to say something to you now. I'll split this deck and let's keep that shit. The Aquarius. Aquarius, again, you got sore. Look at this person. Got one foot in the door and one foot out the door. Okay? Wanting to or wishing for something, but, you know, putting it all in. Putting it all in. They want to put all in the shit. Making a decision. Should I stay or should I go? Oh, I want this. And I'm asking God to bring my Pisces back or whatever it is. I don't fucking know what they wishing on. Because it looks to me like they bear. They are, don't have a piece of clothes on them. So they going with them. Okay? They ain't got nothing on them. They going with it. Okay? They touching that water, Pisces. They want to fill you. And they touching the sand. They going all within. All right? They going bare. They going within. That means they self-searching. They want to know about them, themselves more than anything. A spiritual awakening. Something that they want. All right? That star, that main star. And it's weird because last night, this is crazy. Before I went to bed, I always write God a letter and then I burn it. But it be in the morning. And last night when I was getting, took a shower, I was like, something ain't right here. Because I was listening. I always pray. Um, I don't care if I'm in the shower, whatever, I do it. 
but something came over me and said, you didn't write my letter. So when I went and wrote the letter, after I got dressed and everything, took a shower, I wrote the letter, I went outside of burning, and no lie, in between the tree, out of all the stars, it was one star in between the tree that was standing out. There was a long and now I see that car. It reminds me of, I'm looking at that star, and I kept looking for the moon, but I couldn't see it. But I did see the star. Ain't that crazy? And next to that is us. Which telling me this person is really thinking, right? Really thinking. Like going within. This person is alone. All right? Uh, but look at you in the background. Look at the bird. Look at that. They so looking, going within themselves that they don't even understand. If they just look back, they can see that you can be there. Um, but now you got the um, highest priest, right? Under this lover, I just feel like it's something here that, that this person is all in their head about. All right? All in their head. But, but I feel like Everything or whatever it is that you want to know is going to be revealed. Uh, again, with this air sign, you got a lot of air around you. Everything about this person, I'm going to say it again, you know. You got the lovers. It's something about that you want to know about this person. And, and I'm going to tell you something. Whatever it is that you're thinking, whatever secrets these people got, they ain't got that much of a secret because... You got it all wrapped up. You see that? That book ain't open. You It seems like you know everything. Look, look at that. Usually it shows the highest priest with a book open and an apple or something like that. But you know the waters is calm. You very serious. Look at the tree of life over your fucking head. You know. Um, you, you, and I'm going to the beach today. Um, but you know what you know, you, you, you keep your own secrets, but you know a lot. They see, they can't get over on you. They can't. They may think they get over on you, but they're not at all. All right. Um, you got the seven of cups making major decisions here. You got good decisions. You got bad decisions. You got all, oh, but this person looking at this damn woman. So this person got a whole lot of decisions to make, but they damn sure choosing you. Ain't that crazy? Now they got a whole lot of decisions to make, and I'm going to say it again. Whoever this person is, is choosing you. And I'm going to tell you something. Something here, would because they this came out again, source. Somebody here is, is tied up in a third, in a relationship with three people. Okay, in a love triangle. Or maybe they not with you, but they stuck with somebody else. Okay, because it shows here they got a lot to choose from. All right? And that's the way that is. But you know, it's something like you know. And you feel it in your heart. And everything you feel in your heart is what it is. So... One thing for sure, they can't play you for a fool. They can't even play that if they wanted to. All right? Or Pisces, are you the one that may be in a third-party situation, you know, with this air sign? Or you want to be in a third, or you in a third-party situation and you're not with this air sign? Just because you're not with a person don't mean it's somebody here that's um, in a third party situation, that I'm telling you that shit is fucking crazy. You ain't got no trees. You ain't got no lit. It ain't no no leaves on your tree. It is thundering. It is raining. It is, I mean, your heart is all got them bar wires all over it. I mean, whoever this Aquarius is or whoever this person is, Gemini Libra Aquarius or whoever it is. 
baby, baby, baby. Everything you think about that person, that lover, that Gemini's again, is showing the air sign. Everything you think about them is the truth. And everything you know, and everything you know, it can also mean a, a, a Pisces like us, Cancer, or Scorpio. It, somebody here, you ain't lying. And it's, it's also, you know, about money too. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You got all these people in your damn region. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Uh, a lot of people in your reading, and the only person I've yet seen that is not on here is the fire sign. But you got all these other um, signs in your reading. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but it's a lot of shit going on here pertaining to those signs, okay? I'm going to say it again. Check this shit out. The bottom of the car, again, it got some party of three. Somebody, now, look at this. The, it's, it's, a, it's a secret, all right? But again, and I'm going to say it again, a party of three. The same exactly car. Okay? Look at that. Somebody's keeping a secret. And they think they're keeping it, but they're really not. And it shows again. It's a party of three here. Somebody's in a party of three. Okay? Look at this. It's a lot of confusion. Um, whoever and whoever this um, five of swords, somebody here is like real bossy about shit. Somebody's here is... Who, ain't nobody winning out of this shit. That's number one. It's so fucking crazy that everybody's sitting there gossiping, but there's somebody here trying to control everything. And maybe, it, check it out. Look at this shit. I'm going to say it again. Didn't I say this? It's three people involved here. Now, check this out. This is a five of source, right? Check it out. Is check this shit out. It's the five of swords, right? But it got three people again. But it's the five of swords. A lot of confusion, a lot of arguments. Somebody trying to control everything. Right? It's, nobody wins, but this person's trying to control everything. Alright? Hurting people. Gossiping, spreading news, all this shit. That's crazy. Somebody's walking away crying. Why this bitch want to control everything? Somebody says trying to control everything. Um, But whatever it is and whoever it is, I feel like this person here, this source person, sees you, Pisces, as having it all. That's crazy, right? So this person might have more than one person that they fucking with. Right? And it's fucking controlling them. But they see you like this queen of pentacles. Somebody that's nurturing. Somebody that's a good person to work for. Somebody that they can have a good time with. Somebody that's put together. Somebody that got everything they want in a relationship. A good mother. A good friend. A good provider, a good everything about you is good, but this person here has got a lot of shit going on with them, and you got a lot of source, so it's a lot of shit in your head. A lot of shit is playing in your head. Maybe you need to, I don't know, somebody the need to move on, a lesson that moves you ahead. Confident, unfair, taking advantage of the loss, uh, uh, something lost here. The need to build your own skill and your own confidence, okay? Uh, let me, my light, hold on, y'all. The, the need to build your own skill. Somebody needs to get their shit right. Um... Some, it's just somebody here that feeling 
bad about a situation or feeling even bad that they are in a better place than someone else, okay? But it seems like nobody's winning from here, from this. Whatever's going on, whatever's going on, all right, somebody feel like they've been stabbed in their heart, and but somebody is in a situation where it's a third part. It ain't no fucking plan. Because it shows three of swords, and this is the five of swords, but it shows three people, okay? It shows three people in this picture. And, it, and I'm going to say it again. I don't give a fuck what the meaning is. What they say the five of swords mean, the picture is everything. All right? She done took all of all the source is on her. These people ain't got no source in their hands. Do you understand? Everything is brewing. Something is going to be found out about something. And it's got to do with the three of source, the heart. Three people. But whoever it is, baby, Pisces, whoever it is, they looking at you like you are the winner. Like, but they know that they fucked up. But there's something going on here. And it might be somebody that you with or somebody, whatever it is, that's seeing you. And it's only with you because of what you got. Not because they love you, but it's because of what you got. Okay? Or this is a fight here, and it's really piercing your heart. Is somebody, does somebody feel like their heart is pierced? And they, it, it could be anything, but it's a love of sin. It's got you and your, everything is in your head. It's like you, it's, it's, I feel like somebody here is fighting and it's all in their fucking head and they can't see to move on from it. But in reality, Pisces, you got everything going on. Don't get stuck in this situation. And a lot of Pisces be like, well, I don't fuck with nobody. And I don't know who could be doing this to me. You better fucking check your ass and don't sleep on motherfuckers. And that's the problem. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this can't be me because ain't nobody here. Well, why you saying it can't be me? They fucking get your ass good. You need to wake up because you are the highest priestess and you know what you know. And let me tell you something. Ask God to reveal whatever it is that you need to know about. Okay. Some people don't stop at nothing to get what they fucking want. At nothing. They will do whatever it takes to get what they want. All right? But at the end of this shit, you ain't, nobody gonna win because they, they, it's, it's really sad. We risk everything we built along the way. You may be feeling yourself a few steps behind after winning if you are not bringing your integrity to the game. All right? So, somebody here feels like, you know, things are not moving the way they want it, all right? But it's really got to do with a third party here, all right? Uh, you may be feeling this unexpected loss that has left you a little bit sore or bitter, all right? Sometimes life isn't just... Fair and these um whatever you're going through is draining you out the energy for much longer than you need to. Okay, often it's the fear of failure that does most of the draining. If you feel outsmart or outjoined, remember that one chapter doesn't define you. Win or lose are both a part of human experience. And the key of self-improvement lies on a doorstep at a difficult situation. And remember that. Okay? Whatever it is that left you fucked up, the breakup or whatever it is, or you feeling like you lost out on money or your business ain't going the way you want or you was in a partner with somebody and they fucked you, whatever it is. It does not define you. Continue to move on. 
Maybe you, maybe you feel like your money ain't moving the way it was. Maybe you feel like something just ain't moving along. But it's got to do with three party and it got a bed. So this shit is keeping you up. And you can't sleep thinking about, you know, how you ain't moving along when you should be moving along. Or whatever it is. Every day ain't a good day, damn it. We all got dumb days where things don't go right. And our money ain't right, or the project ain't right, or the people we work for ain't right, or people we deal with ain't right. We all got them days. We all live them days, okay? But whatever it is, you got to overcome it. You cannot, because see, if you try to do things and you try to do it, and no matter what you do, you just walking over people and using people. Everybody, nobody wins, honey, all right? Whatever it is, Sonny, it shows a party of three. It says five of swords, but it only got three people. And again, the book is open. You're going to find out whatever it is you need to find out. You will find out. It's something that's going to be clear to you about what's going on. All right? It seems like you they see you like the queen of pentacles, or you feel like everything's on you. You know, you the one that got to pay all the bills. You the one that got to make sure shit is right. Um, You, you know... Or shit ain't working for you, but you still the one that got to pay the bills. Everything is on you, all right? And you feel like um, <coughs> these people are trying to play you out. Got to do with your money because it show your money over and over. So sometimes people are with you for all the fucking wrong reasons. And man or women, Pisces, you know, maybe you got some men or women y'all around that want to dog y'all just for what you got and really don't give a fuck about you. And seeing somebody else on the side, but um, they just switch you for the materialistic things that you got. They don't even love your ass, okay? And I don't know where you at, and I don't know who is this for, but remember one thing. Nobody wins at the end of this shit because people move on. It, it becomes real messy, all right? All right, here's Destiny's card. Let me pull out some of Destiny's card. Alright, the first card, let's find out what these people got to say. Give me one more card, Spirits, one more card. Alright, so now, you, you're the one I want to be with. This person is fucking playing too many fucking games. They fucking playing a little bit too many games. Please just give me some time to figure things out. Baby, ain't nobody got time. They can stay with the third party or whoever. Because whatever it is to be seen, <coughs> will be seen. I am willing to put in <coughs> the effort to work on things with you. Well, why don't you do it? And when you do it, let me know. Please come to me when you do it all. Don't come to me with no bullshit. Ain't nobody got time for no bullshit. And I know I don't. At all. At all. All right. Now, these little cards they asked me about, these mom's cards, okay? Um, I don't know if I told y'all, but my mom used to read tells I used to be scared of hell, and I think it was because of all the swords I used to see. Ain't that crazy? The reason why I never wanted to, to read the tarot was because of the swords. Always scared me with all them swords, knives, and shit. And now I realize right now that it was Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. It's, it's some type of people that, or even as a child, they were always around me. And I never even liked them. The, the, the things that would show up in the readings with them swords used to fuck me like, whoa, they look like they want to kill somebody. And that's exactly how I seen it. I didn't want to look at um, tarot because of them swords. And now I see it's so clear to me. Something about a house, this person, somebody either going somewhere, going to a trip, building a house, moving into a house, uh, have a beautiful home. And that person knows how you live. They know that you live good. They know that you have a, you know, you have a good heart. Um, uh, fakeness. Somebody here is being fake. All right. Look at that. Look at that shit. But look how they living. 
somebody over here don't live, uh, they look at your house nice because whatever they got ain't, ain't up to par. And they sitting there fighting with somebody. Whoever it is is being real fake. Ooh-wee. Showing the true colors. But this person is trying to come to you with love. So they see you living good. They, they, these people ain't living right. They fight with somebody. Um, cat and mouse game. Somebody here got somebody where they live at. What if you can't compare how they live to where you live. Look at this. This is you, right? And this is them. A lot of shit going on in their hood, their neighborhood, all right? Or what, however they live with the people they deal with or whoever they fucking. Because they want to come to you. All right? Honey. Let's find out some more about this fakeness. They being fake with you. Fight another motherfucker. They fight. Y'all fighting? I don't know. It says about again some money. It See, this whole shit is about money. Because look at this shit. Now look at this. <clears throat> that looks like it belongs in that house, right? Look at this motherfucking house. It's dark, gloomy. You understand? I feel like this this whole thing with this house, um, fakeness shows they may want to come to your house offering you love and money, but it's it's or either they want to come to you because they see you with the coins and that is a woman's pocketbook. Okay. Um, it's like you got your money hidden in a box, all right? I feel like, too, see that right there, that, that right there, that box, or whatever they standing on, somebody, you protecting what's yours, and it shows it's your money, and somebody wants to come and love on you for what you got, not because they love you. Ain't that a bitch? If I go any further, it shows a baby. So maybe it's a baby involved. Maybe somebody seeing somebody or somebody got somebody pregnant or whatever it is. But it shows a lot of craziness is going on in there. All right? And what was that? All right, let's see. Let's move on. Religion factor. Um, your love life is being fucked up by religion factors. Maybe they from a different country. Um, they believe in different religions or religion is playing in this. Maybe from they're from a different country. They're different than you. They don't believe in tarot. They might be Muslim, whatever it is. And I'm going to tell you something. A lot of things about source, they do, do not believe in tarot. They, they don't like that shit. They look at that as spookiness. Witch, witches. All right? It says, play for, recapture romance, allow your inner youth to, uh, and your spirits to have fun as you shine. Somebody want to come and have fun with you. But honey, I ain't got time for no games with no fucking body. It says, romance feelings. Somebody got feelings for you that uh, they really want to explore. I don't know, honey. It's, it's a whole lot of shit, and I ain't got time to figure nobody's bullshit out because I, I figure my own damn shit. Okay, I ain't trying to figure nobody's shit out but my own. All right? Ain't nobody better come to me with that dumb shit because I ain't got time for it. Okay, so this is you, <clears throat> Pisces. Half a moon in between move and a whole damn move. You're spinning global, honey. You got the glow right in your hand, on your hand. Spit. How about that shit? Check that out. You spin it on the bitch, plus you got, look at your fingers. Like, yeah, I got this shit. Everything. All right? Somebody here is going, I don't know if it's a divorce case. Somebody's going for something here. And they're going to wind up winning. Whatever it is that they're going for, they're going to win. Honey, whoever you taking to court or whatever it is that you're going to court for, um, justice is going to be served. Okay, um, whatever it is you're going through, believe in me, you're going to be good. All right, you're going to really be good. Pisces, if you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else. All right, but get it. 
And also be careful about people, third parties, or working with people that are not right for you. Or it could be something that's going on in your job. But I see these these hearts pierced um, with with um with swords are there. You can't get over that shit. And it's about it gotta be because they probably think you better than that person, or they see you the one that that, that can. You know, get get everything they want. You have everything they want. This person that they probably fucking with don't. Or shit, they might be fucking with the same sex. Who the fuck know? Is something really strange going on here. And but guess what? If I was you, I ask God to reveal it and it will be revealed. It's got to do with the lovers. It's an air sign and you got a lot of air. You got capital. Let me tell you something. You had everything in here but fire. You had Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you got uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, you got Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I mean, I'm sorry, you got, yeah, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You got all them people in this reading, and the only people you didn't have in this reading was Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. So you think about that shit. What it's telling you is all in your head and all this shit going in your head or in their head about the situation is you in your head and in your feelings, and it's about your money or whatever this person look at it. He's in their head about what he lost with you, what he could have, all in his head and his feeling, and it's about who you are. Okay, now Pisces, I know that we feel a little stuck about our money right now. Things ain't moving, or maybe y'all think things ain't moving the way you um, anticipated or. Um, Pisces, you letting people have you speak in your mind to people. But I just feel like maybe you feel like, you know, God does everything for a reason. And it's a time in your life where you need to relax. And maybe this is, and you know, God's working from a part that you don't see. So don't ever think that nothing is going on and moving for you because it is moving. It's just that it ain't showing you right now in your face. And it's not sitting where you see it. But it is at work. I'll talk to y'all later. One love. If you need a private reading, get it from me or someone else because this is a general reading. Take what applies and leave the left the rest behind. Okay? Like I said, take what applies and leave the rest behind. I'm not in no three-party relationship. I don't know what the fuck they in. Whatever they in, that's their business. It ain't mine. Okay? So I'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you later. Bye.